The ancient Greeks named it hippopotamus, or river horse. The hippopotamus is one of the world's largest land mammals and one of the most dangerous. It defends its territory in the rivers, lakes, and swamps of East and Central Africa. In the Luangwa River Valley in Zambia, hippo numbers have increased to the point where local villagers fear the hippo more than the dreaded crocodile. You just see his back sticking out in the pool, so. Mm. The fishermen have gone as well. They've gone to go out. This water's drying up quickly. Mm. They'll be out of here in a few days. Mm -hmm. That's difficult to tell. Huh? Let's just wait, maybe they might come out again. Let's see where he's running into you. Yeah. See that scar on his back there. Yeah, he's been mm -hmm. he's been thumped. No wonder he was all by himself, yeah. Yeah. There he goes. Uh -huh. A big bull. But he's been fighting as yeah. well. I mean you can see he's uh -huh. been badly gored. Uh -huh. And that's when they're at their worst, mm -hmm. aren't they? Exactly. I mean we got this close and he was he wasn't that scared. Yeah. After a long day's hunt and not wanting to pursue a wounded hippo into the thick bush so late in the evening, the group retreats, hoping that they will catch up to the beast the next day. McNeil's 450 Dakota is nothing short of a shoulder cannon. Correct placement of the 500 grain bullets should stop a bull if it should choose to charge. There's a hippo over there, dog. Yeah, I think that's the one. Uh-uh, doesn't look like him. Huh? He looks healthy and smaller bodied. Yeah, they said that one we're looking for is definitely injured and not well at all. No, this one's all right. He's walking he looks first. fine. Maybe around the corner, the other side might see the other one. Yeah, a little bit further up. Uh-huh. Let's, Let's go check. There's another hippo there. See the one lying in the water? Quite a way off. Uh huh. Back sticking out. Do you think? Do you think that could be the one? It's much bigger body than this one. And they talked of two being in here. Yeah. And he's the bigger the one. Let's carry on and see. Which? How are we going to approach him? The wind is east-westerly. Yeah. So if we go with the thicket down like this and come Should up from, from the other side, yeah. He's, he's got it, poor eyesight, so yeah. he's not going to see us. Mm -hmm. And if he does come out of the water, he's going to head where we are in the thicket. Yeah, because so there's virtually no water there anyway. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see if we can get him out of the water. Get his head out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cheeky boy, huh? Yeah, he's a little small though, isn't he? Yeah, he is. No, he's not the one we're looking for. Well, let's leave him. We don't want to, because if he comes, we're going to have to shoot him. Uh-huh. Now, let's let go. Let's carry on this way. Yeah. Well, he woke up all of a sudden, didn't uh -huh. he? Well, a hippo that is kicked out from the main pod or wounded, he is aggressive. He feels as if the whole world is against him. After glassing several hippos, Chipman and McNeil spot a likely candidate for their ornery beast. It's going on, McNeil. They make their move and approach ever so diligently. He's swimming slowly. Yeah. Looks like he wants to come out. Yeah, he's coming out. Let's try and come in. Let's get on that other yeah. side of the water. Watch the mud. Yeah, this is, is going for the bush, huh? Now let's 
Go, go. You got him. Well, he was coming. <laughs> he was coming. Boy, Josh, thanks so much. Hey, yeah, yeah. Boy, you see how, he, I mean, he just came around that bush and saw us. He didn't hang around. He's coming, he's coming. Well, that's how they are. He was, he was trying to get for the cover. Because yeah. if they don't go for water, then they try and run for the bush. And we were between him well, and the bush it. and he just... He just he saw came. us and we actually got a little bit close. Uh -huh. I mean, we couldn't see him. The next thing we were on top of him. Or we were on top of one another. Good shooting there, Buono. <laughs> Fast shooting, I mean. Boy. We just got here and he was already coming. Let's I mean, look. what are we? We're only maybe six paces away? Yeah, but six paces. That's close. Boy. Old boy, just lying in a pool by himself. You know, obviously kicked out of the pods uh -huh. in the river. Good shooting there. Oh, it's a big animal. Uh -huh. Well, there we go. Look at that. Look at that four wind. The tooth has gone right in there. <laughs> and probably that's why he was always chasing the fishermen. Because of that this wound. is the one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy. Big animal. They're That's probably die. why he came for us as well. When you get an animal like this that has been gored, he's got a pretty nasty temper. The Ooh. villagers are going to love you. Yeah. You made it safe for them. No, it always makes you feel feel good when you can help these sort of communities, especially in Africa. It definitely uplifts a whole village and it also gives an appreciation of the hunting that is going on in these areas. They generate a lot of revenue from that and that revenue enables them to build schools and also, you know, buy food in times of need. And in return, they'll hopefully look at wildlife in the years to come and as an asset for their community and they will look after the game and, uh, and take pride in it. We did two things there. We took away that hippo that was tormenting them from the river. Now they can fish and all the meat that came from the hippo went back to the villages. You feel as if uh, you've achieved something good for the livelihood of somebody else. It lights up your heart. It's always been a, a dream of mine to come here. It's an amazing place. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it takes your breath away. McNeil knows it's not the destination, but the journey that's important when hunting dangerous game. Well, for me, it is adrenaline factor. It is the actual challenge of hunting these sort of animals. It's also the people you're with, even the trackers, the drivers, and just being out there. You build tremendous friendships, and you, you have experiences no one else has in the world. We're extremely fortunate people to be in these places, to see them while they are so wild. Yeah.